Greetings Heroes of Dominion. Here is Zeus with another enlightening video. Today is the ban phase of the cosmic battle, and so far, we have some very interesting results. The cosmic battle is a cross-server PvP event where players from different servers compete against each other using their current heroes. This event, which lasts 3 days, requires players to set up both attack and defense teams. Before the actual battles begin, there's a 24-hour ban phase where players vote to exclude certain heroes from the event. The heroes with the most votes are then banned from participating in any attack or defense teams during the cosmic battle. In this video, I will be discussing the strategic implications of the ban phase and showcasing some exciting matchups that have emerged as a result. We'll explore how these bans are influencing team compositions and what adjustments you might need to make to stay competitive. Remember, the key to success in the cosmic battle is to adapt your strategy based on the heroes that have been banned. Make sure to stay tuned as we dive into some of the most effective team setups and strategies for navigating this intense event. Tanks in the ban phase in the tank role, two tanks are expected to be banned, with Rufus currently leading with 33% of the votes. This suggests that Rufus will likely be excluded from the event if these votes hold until the end. Initially, I expected Julius to be the tank most likely to be banned, given his formidable presence in battles. Julius has garnered 16% of the votes, which is enough to secure his spot as the second tank to be banned. Following Julius, Corvus has received 12% of the votes, and Galahad has 10%. It is surprising to see Galahad considered a dangerous tank by players, reflecting his rising popularity in the game. Support role in the ban phase. In the support role, Amira is currently leading with 32% of the votes, meaning she is likely to be one of the banned heroes. The banning of both Amira and Rufus suggests that there will be no meta team in the cosmic battle, which is good news for many players who struggle to counter meta teams. Sebastian is the second most voted support hero with 17% of the votes. Marksman role in the ban phase. In the marksman role, Dante is currently leading with 41% of the votes, making him the most likely candidate to be banned. This is significant, as Dante is one of the most popular heroes in the game, with many players having invested heavily in developing Dante-centric teams. Banning Dante will undoubtedly cause disappointment among these players, as it would prevent them from using their strongest and most favored hero in the cosmic battle. Dante's popularity stems from his versatile skill set, and his ability to deal substantial damage while maintaining good survivability. Many players rely on him to lead their teams, and his absence in the event could disrupt their strategies and lower their chances of success. Given his crucial role in many team compositions, removing Dante from the roster could discourage players from participating in the cosmic battle altogether. As a suggestion to the developers, it might be worth considering locking Dante as a non-bannable hero. This would ensure that players who have invested time and resources into building Dante-focused teams are not penalized. Allowing Dante to remain available could help maintain player engagement and satisfaction, ensuring a more enjoyable and competitive event for everyone. Mage Role in the Ban Phase In the Mage Role, three mages are expected to be banned, Iris, Heidi, and Helios. Iris is currently leading with 29% of the votes, positioning her as the most likely hero to be banned. This decision has significant strategic implications for the cosmic battle, as banning Iris could open up new opportunities for different tanks to be used effectively in defense, aside from the heavily favored Rufus and Julius. Iris is known for her potent offensive capabilities, and her absence in the event could lead to a shift in the defensive strategies employed by players. With Iris out of the picture, players might explore alternative tank options to fortify their defenses. Personally, I am excited to test my jury, who could provide a robust defensive presence in the absence of Iris. Following Iris, 
Heidi is the second most voted mage, with 19% of the votes. Heidi's potential ban also impacts team compositions, as his unique abilities often play a crucial role in both offensive and defensive strategies. The banning of Heidi forces players to rethink their strategies and adapt to the new dynamics of the cosmic battle. Helios, with 15% of the votes, is the third mage likely to be banned. His ban will also significantly affect team compositions, particularly those relying on his counter-critical abilities. The absence of these top mages means players will have to find new ways to optimize their teams and leverage other heroes' strengths to fill the void left by Iris, Heidi, and Helios. Control Role in the Ban Phase In the Control Role, Arachne is currently the most voted hero with 34% of the votes, followed by Jorgen with 25%. The potential banning of Arachne means that the threat of control will be significantly reduced in the game. This is not surprising, as Arachne is widely regarded as one of the best control heroes in Hero Wars. Her ability to stun and disrupt the enemy team makes her a formidable opponent, and many players rely on her to turn the tide of battle. Arachne's skills allow her to exert a high level of control over the battlefield, stunning multiple enemies and preventing them from using their abilities. Her removal from the cosmic battle will force players to rethink their strategies, as they will no longer have to contend with her disruptive presence. This could lead to a more balanced and varied meta, where other heroes have the opportunity to shine. Healer Role in the Ban Phase In the Healer Role, Martha is leading with 27% of the votes, followed by Jet with 20% and Dorian with 17%. What stands out to me is that Thea, who I expected to be closer to Martha in terms of votes, has only garnered 16%. This disparity is surprising, as Martha and Thea are both highly regarded for their healing capabilities. Leaving Thea available in the cosmic battle opens up numerous dangerous combinations that could be utilized. Martha's popularity in the votes is understandable given her exceptional healing abilities and the speed boost she provides to her team. Her ultimate skill, Tea Party, creates a healing totem that can significantly sustain a team during battle, making her a crucial asset in prolonged fights. Jet and Dorian, the second and third most voted healers, also play vital roles in team compositions, with Jet providing critical hit boosts and Dorian offering continuous healing through his aura. Thea, despite her lower vote count, remains a powerful healer with the ability to silence enemies and heal allies. Her relative underrepresentation in the voting could lead to her becoming a key figure in many team compositions during the cosmic battle. The presence of Thea could enable many dangerous and effective team setups, as her healing and utility skills are highly versatile and valuable in various scenarios. Warrior Role in the Ban Phase In the Warrior Role, Yasmin is leading with 31% of the votes, followed by Kark with 23%. Ishmael, who has historically been a key component of some of the toughest teams to beat in previous cosmic battles, was banned in the last event and is therefore locked this time, explaining his 0% vote count. Additionally, Xing Mao has garnered only 9% of the votes, which is relatively low for a hero of her caliber. The ban phase in the warrior role underscores the dynamic and ever-changing nature of Hero Wars. Players must continuously adapt their strategies to the evolving meta, which keeps the game exciting and unpredictable. The potential bans of Yasmin and Pan Park, along with the relatively low votes for Ching Mao, will undoubtedly influence team compositions and tactics in the upcoming cosmic battle. This constant adaptation ensures that the competitive landscape remains fresh and engaging, challenging players to innovate, and refine their approaches to succeed. With the current voting trends and expected bans, I anticipate two particularly dangerous teams emerging in this cosmic battle. Let's delve into the potential compositions and strengths of these teams. Ching Mao, Kira, Sebastian, Lara Croft, and a fifth hero, Marksman or Nebula this team is focused on delivering high damage and quick takedowns. 
Ching Mao and Kira are powerful damage dealers, with Ching Mao's armor penetration synergizing well with Kira's high burst damage. Sebastian enhances critical hits and prevents control effects, keeping the damage dealers in top form. Lara Croft adds versatility and additional damage. The fifth slot could be another marksman for increased damage output or nebula to provide further support with damage boosts and healing. The dynamics of this team will evolve depending on the fifth hero, but the core is designed to dish out massive damage quickly. Ishmael Teams Despite receiving 0% of the votes in the ban phase, I expect Ishmael Teams to shine. Ishmael's offensive prowess and self-sustainability make him a formidable warrior. Teams built around Ishmael often focus on maximizing his damage potential and ensuring he stays alive long enough to deal it. Paired with heroes who can support and enhance his capabilities, Ishmael teams will likely continue to be a strong presence in the cosmic battle, taking advantage of his ability to overpower opponents in prolonged fights. These two teams are poised to dominate the cosmic battle based on the current voting trends and expected bans. Each team leverages a unique combination of strengths, from high burst damage and strategic support to offensive prowess and sustainability. As the event unfolds, the true effectiveness of these compositions will become apparent, and players will need to adapt their strategies accordingly. If you found this breakdown helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more electrifying content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Join our community on Discord to share your experiences and strategies. Stay strong, heroes of Dominion. The cosmic battle is a test of your strategy and adaptability. With the right combinations and a keen eye on the evolving dynamics, you can rise to the top and dominate the battlefield. Keep pushing forward, experiment with your teams, and remember, every challenge is an opportunity to become even stronger. See you in the next video. Salute and friendship.